Tether is forecasting that its commercial paper backing for USDT will be reduced to 8.4 billion by the end of June 2022, and that eventually it will be eliminated entirely. So the major stablecoin company Tether is looking to eventually get rid of its commercial paper backing for its United States dollar-based stablecoin Tether USDT. Now Tether issued an official statement on Wednesday denying claims that its commercial paper portfolio is 85% backed by Chinese or Asian commercial papers and is trading at a 30% discount. The stablecoin company declared such charges as absolutely incorrect, stating very emphatically that United States Treasuries currently account for more than 47% of total USDT reserves. Now as it claimed its most recent assurance option issued in May, the commercial paper accounts for less than 25% of USDT's backing, totaling roughly $21 billion as of March the 31st. And here's their statement, this will gradually decline to zero without incurring any losses. Apparently, all commercial papers are maturing and will be rolled into short maturity US treasuries. Tether also once again mentioned the recent crisis of the Celsius lending platform. And in case you weren't aware, Tether recently issued a statement regarding the major cryptocurrency lending platform Celsius halting withdrawals due to its well, rumored liquidity crisis. And according to that statement, Tether's lending activity with Celsius has always been over collateralized as with any borrower and has really no impact on the company's reserves. The announcement also described the ongoing issues with Celsius as an unfortunate result of market volatility and extreme market conditions. However, the Celsius position has been liquidated with no losses to Tether. And according to Tether, the company has currently zero exposure to Celsius apart from a small investment made up of Tether's equity in the company. Tether also argued that reports suggesting that they have lending exposure to the crypto venture capital firm Three Arrows Capital are also categorically false. The current USDT supply is $82.6 billion, and this is pretty close to its highest ever level, and represents an increase of 80% over the past 12 months. And the vast majority of this supply is split almost evenly across the Tron and Ethereum networks, with the former having slightly more at 41.7 billion USDT. On April the 13th, the company announced that it had launched the stablecoin on Polkadot's Kusama network too. And Tether's closest rival, Circle, has just over $50 billion in USDC in circulation, which is an increase of around 355% over the past 12 months. So in total, the stablecoin market represents around 9.7% of the total cryptocurrency market capitalization. So let's look at some predictions. Algorithm-based forecast site Wallet Investor expects that the future price of Tether will remain largely pegged to the US dollar over the next five years. Indeed, its USDT forecast has only slight variations in the rate, ranging between 99.7 cents and 100.4 cents. Now, Digital Coin Price's USDT prediction saw the price reaching $1.01 in June from $1 in May, holding at that level in 2023, 2024, 2025, and actually for the rest of the decade until 2030. Now, these algorithm-based forecasters didn't provide longer-term predictions into the 2040s and 50s for that matter. When considering any Tether forecast, it's important to keep in mind that the cryptocurrency markets remain extremely volatile, and unexpected events like the Terra crash are difficult to accurately predict. And as such, analysts and algorithm-based forecasters, for that matter, can and do get their outlook wrong. So if you're considering investing in cryptocurrency tokens, we recommend that you always do your own research. Look at the latest market trends, news, technical fundamental analysis, and expert opinions before making any trading decisions. And always keep in mind that past performance is no guarantee of future returns. And never invest more than you can afford to lose. Well, anyway, thanks for joining us today. And remember, we post news every single day of the week. So don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.